Good morning. Welcome to a brand new week and a brand new day. The sun is shining and I am driving my inefficient car. I don't know about you, but today just feels like a day of excess. It's a mess in here. I think I'm gonna clean it up. It'll only take a second. And that's much better. You'll notice that I'm down here about every day. What I'm doing is running some tests on some samples. And so every few hours I gotta come down here, put them in this calorimeter machine, and then take them out. This thing you hear is kind of the heart of what I'm, I'm doing. Inside here is like a salt. Uh, it melts at about 25 degrees Celsius, or room temperature basically. You've probably heard things said like we consume 1.6 Planets. Today is August 8th of 2016, and it is what they call uh, Earth Overshoot Day, or the Ecological Deficit Day. This is put together by an organization called the Global Footprint Network. Global Overshoot Day is the day at which we have said that we have used one year's worth of biological resources in the portion of the year up to that point. So basically for the four months after today, we're running in a deficit, kind of like you would with money. Let me explain. So if a logging company would come into this forest and they would chop down most of the trees, it would take years and years for them to re be replaced. But if they only take one or two or three trees at a time, they will regrow at the same rate that they take them. See, a deficit only occurs when the supply of something is depleted faster than it can be refilled. This indicator is calculated by looking at things like forests, cropland, land use for cities, livestock, fish, uh, as well as CO2 emissions. And all these things are weighed against each other to see if the rate of depletion, or in the case of CO2, if the rate of increase in the atmosphere is beyond that, which can either be replenished or CO2 can be removed. Now I understand that results like this are pretty controversial, and honestly, for myself, I don't always know what to make of them, but that's kind of besides the point. If you look at what we consume in first world nations like the United States or Europe, it vastly outnumbers that consumed in other parts of the world. And all of these people are seeking to be as developed as we are. The model we're setting is not good. We throw away, I've seen a quarter to a third of our food. We waste a lot of energy and transportation. Uh, we waste a lot of electricity in our homes. So really, I think today the point to be derived from it is to think about what we use, how we use it, and try to do it in a manner that is good for us, good for the planet, and good for everybody around the world. make some pretty great food. Now I guess we'll have to head to the gym to work all that off. <laughs> but otherwise it's been a pretty great day. Um, use less, save energy, and I will see you guys tomorrow. That's it. <laughs>